Question number one, which chamber of the heart does the coronary system deliver its deoxygenated blood into? A, the right atrium, B, the left atrium, C, the right ventricle, or D, the left ventricle? Our answer here is A, the right atrium. Question number two, which chamber of the heart do the right and left pulmonary veins drop oxygenated blood into? A, the right atrium, B, the left atrium, C, the right ventricle, or D, the left ventricle? Our answer here is B, the left atrium. Question number three, which of the following is the correct passageway of the electrical impulse through the heart? A, the SA node to the AV node, to the bundle of his, to the right left bundle branches, to the Purkinje fibers. B, SA node to the AV node, right and left bundle branches, bundle of his, then Purkinje fibers. C, AV node, SA node, bundle of his, right and left bundle branches, Purkinje fibers, or D, AV node, SA node, right and left bundle branches, bundle of his, then Purkinje fibers. Our answer here is A, SA node to the AV node, to the bundle of his, to the right left bundle branches, and to the Purkinje fibers. Question number four, what is the primary function of the coronary system? A, the coronary system delivers oxygenated blood to the upper extremities and the trunk of the body. B, the coronary system delivers oxygenated blood to the lower extremities and the trunk of the body. C, the coronary system supplies the myocardium with oxygenated blood and nutrients as well as exchanging for waste products and CO2. Or D, the coronary system supplies oxygenated blood to the interventricular septum. Our answer here is C, the coronary system supplies the myocardium with oxygenated blood and nutrients as well as exchanging for waste product and CO2. Question number five, at which phase of a heartbeat do the right and left coronary arteries fill up with blood? A, systole when the ventricles relax, B, systole when the ventricles contract, C, diastole when the ventricles contract, or D, diastole when the ventricles relax. Our answer here is D, diastole when the ventricles relax. Question number six. A patient who is exhibiting no signs and symptoms comes into the clinic for an annual checkup. He is a 55-year-old male, smoker for 20 years, obese, and has a family history of diabetes and high blood pressure. Which of the following is he most at risk for? A. Hypertension, B. Kawasaki disease, C. Myocardial infarction, or D. Congestive heart failure. Our answer here is A, hypertension. Question number seven. A patient comes into the emergency room complaining of something that feels like heartburn in his chest and a sensation radiating down his jaw. He is exhibiting shortness of breath. He explains he has been resting two hours prior to visiting the ER and the symptoms have not subsided. What must be first ruled out as a possible cause? A, myocardial infarction, B, hypertension, C, atherosclerosis, or D, a stroke. Our answer here is A, myocardial infarction, also known as a heart attack. 
Question number eight, where in the blood are white blood cells found? A, within the plasma, B, within the erythrocytes, C, attached to hemoglobin, or D, within the white buffy coat along with platelets. Our answer here is D, the white blood cells are found within the white buffy coat along with the platelets. Question number nine, which of the following white blood cells are phagocytic? A, granulocytes and A granulocytes, B, neutrophils and basophils, C, eosinophils and monocytes, or D, neutrophils and monocytes slash macrophages. Our answer here is D, neutrophils and monocytes or macrophages. Question number 10, which of the following is known as the pacemaker of the heart? A, Purkinje fibers, B, bundle of His, C, SA node, or D, the AV node? Our answer here is C, the SA node. Question number 12. Generally, veins carry deoxygenated blood towards the heart. What is the exception to this general rule? A, the coronary sinus brings back oxygenated blood to the heart. B, the vena cava brings back oxygenated blood back to the heart. C, pulmonary veins bring oxygenated blood back to the heart, specifically the left atrium. Or D, there is no exception to this rule. Veins are always bringing deoxygenated blood back to the heart. Our answer here is C, the pulmonary veins bring oxygenated blood back to the heart, specifically to the left atrium, and this is the exception to the general rule. Question number 13, which of the following is found inside red blood cells and is responsible for transporting oxygen across the circulatory system? A, hematocrit, B, hemoglobin, C, fibrinogen, or D, globulins? Our answer here is B, hemoglobin. Question number 14. Which two valves are closed during ventricular systole? A, neither, they are all open during systole. B, the semilunar valves. C, the atrial ventricular valves. Or D, both the pulmonic valve and the mitral valve. Our answer here is C, the atrial ventricular valves. Question number 17. Which two valves are open during ventricular diastole? A, the aortic and mitral valve. B, both the pulmonic and aortic valves. C, both the semilunar valves. Or D, both the tricuspid and the bicuspid or mitral valve. Our answer here is D, both the tricuspid and the bicuspid or mitral valve. Question number 18, which type of blood vessels has direct involvement with exchanging oxygen and nutrients? A, large arteries, B, small blood vessels, C, capillaries, or D, arterioles? Our answer here is C, capillaries. 
Question number 19. In a scenario where both the SA node and the AV node fail to initiate an impulse, what will be the compensation? A, the bundle of his is able to pick up an impulse at a rate of 60 to 100 beats per minute. B, the bundle of his is able to pick up and create an impulse at a rate of 40 to 45 beats per minute. C, the heart will automatically fail and die if both the SA node and AV node fail to give an impulse. Or D, the Purkinje fibers will begin to initiate an impulse of 40 to 60 beats per minute. Our answer here is B, the bundle of his is able to pick up and create an impulse at a rate of 40 to 45 beats per minute. Question number 20. The most accurate definition of a cardiac dysrhythmia is the following. A, abnormal heartbeat. B, abnormal contraction of the myocardium. C, a disturbance in the rhythm of the heart caused by a problem in the electrical conduction system. Or D, the heart is beating too fast or too slow. Our answer here is C, a disturbance in the rhythm of a heart is caused by a problem in the electrical conduction system. Question 21. What does the QRS complex represent on an EKG reading? A. Atrial contraction. B. Ventricular contraction. C. Ventricular repolarization. Or D. Aortic and pulmonary valves closing. Our answer here is B. Ventricular contraction. Question number 22. What does the P wave represent on an EKG reading? A. Atrial contraction. B. Ventricular contraction. C. Ventricles refilling with blood. Or D. The aortic and mitral valves opening. Our answer here is A, atrial contraction. Question number 23. What does the T wave represent on an ECG reading? A, ventricular repolarization, when blood is filling the ventricles. B, ventricular repolarization, when the ventricles contract and push blood to the semilunar valves. C, atrial repolarization. Or D, none of the above. Our answer here is A, ventricular repolarization when blood is filling the ventricles. Question number 24. At which point of an ECG reading is atrial repolarization happening? A, during the P wave, B, during the QRS complex, C, during the T wave, or D, right after the T wave? Our answer here is B, during the QRS complex. Question number 25. An ECG is reading sinus tachycardia. Which of the following is a likely sign or symptom the patient could be exhibiting? A, fever. B, increased pulse rate. C, anxiousness. D, dizziness. E, trouble breathing. Or D, all of the above. Our answer here is D, all of the above. Question number 26. A patient with blood type AB positive will be able to receive blood from all but the following. B positive, B negative, O negative, O positive, or B 
Blood type AB positive is the universal receiver and can receive any blood type, including negative and positive. Our answer here is E. Blood type AB positive is the universal receiver and can receive any blood type, including negative and positive. Question number 27. A patient with blood type O negative is able to give blood to all of the following except O positive, AB positive, AB negative, A positive, or blood type O negative is known as the universal donor and is able to give blood to any blood type including negative and positive. Our answer here is E, blood type O negative is known as the universal donor and is able to give blood to any blood type, including negative and positive. Question number 28. A patient with blood type AB will only be able to give blood to the following. AB, O, A and AB, B and AB, or blood type AB can give blood to every blood type. Our answer here is A, blood type AB. So a patient with blood type AB will only be able to give to blood type AB. Question number 29, a patient with blood type O can only receive blood from the following. Blood type O, blood type O negative, blood type AB, blood type A, blood type O can receive blood from any blood type. Our answer here is A, blood type O. So a patient with blood type O can only receive blood from another type O blood. Question number 30. Which of the following is the correct passageway of blood vessels to the capillary bed and back to the heart? A, elastic arteries, muscular arteries, arterioles, capillary beds, venules, veins, then the heart. B, heart, arteries, venules, veins, capillary bed, arterioles, heart. C, heart, arteries, capillary beds, veins, vena cava. Or D, heart, arteries, capillaries, capillary bed, capillaries, veins. Our answer here is A, the elastic arteries come right off of the heart and they branch off to your muscular arteries, then your arterioles, then your capillary bed, your venules, your veins, and back to the heart again. This concludes this video. I hope you guys all did great. That was 30 questions on the cardiovascular system for your ATITs. It was a lot. If you need some extra help, I'm gonna leave my link below on my cardiovascular review videos. Thanks again, guys. Until next time.